Kaduna State Government has ordered the closure of all public and private schools in the Kaju local government area of the state. According to a memo signed by the Zona Education Office, Sabon Sasha, all schools should close due to the prevailing security situation in the area. The memo dated March 16 was addressed to all principals of public and private schools. Government had on March 11 stormed the Federal College of Forestry Mechanization in Mandu, Kaduna State, kidnapping 39 students. The Kaduna College was said to have about 300 male and female students, mostly aged 17 and older, at the time of the attack. Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security, Samuel Arua, said 39 of the students were missing. Arua disclosed that further checks in the wake of the attack by armed bandits indicate that 39 students are currently unaccounted for, including 23 females and 16 males. Few days after the Nigeria Army said it foiled an attempt by the government to kidnap students of Turkish International Secondary School in Rigashikun, Kaduna State. The government also attacked UBE Primary School, Rama in Bemingwari local government area of the state on Monday, abducting some students and teachers. Sarah reporters gathered that the government came on came on about motorcycles arrived came on with motorcycle and arrived at the school around 9 a.m. In an annual security report by the state government, at least 937 people died in violent attacks and mass atrocities in Kaduna State last year. The report attributed the death to kidnappings, banditry, and other criminal activities that cut across all ethnic and religious groups in Kaduna State. Hmm. Okay, well, many, many, many schools are going to be closed down. The issue is that the Nigerian government has said they cannot protect and they can't secure all the schools in Nigeria. So if they are saying that time is there's fire on the mountain, there is nothing anybody can do about it. Does it mean that uh, the Boko Haram is winning? Does it mean that uh, what that they, now that they are closing down the school, those schools? When what are what are the things that are being put in place? Because these people are still there. You can imagine the order the gov uh, the, the president gave that uh, oh by six uh, two months or sixty days after. If those people fail to uh, surrender, they are going to deal with them. So they have a, there's an open window, open check for them to do whatever they are going to do. So what are the measures the government will be putting in place for the schools to be back again? If nothing is going to be done now, so that there will be maximum security, so that the children can still be learning. So what are they going to put in place? Till when? Until when? So by the time, or maybe after some time, they will not tell the students to come back again and the people will resume back again. So what about other schools? So does it mean they will not go to other schools? If they now go to other schools, that means the old schools in the state will be closed down. Hmm. This is it's not looking too good, honestly. What shamefulness is this? Honestly, it's quite unfortunate with the escalation of this ugly trend in the north. However, the Boko Haram has hugely achieved their aim and single large object of dissuading people from the western education immediate closure of the school is that the best solution you can take okay is that the best solution you can take if we are living in a civilized civilized uh, society by now this criminal uh, the so-called criminal would have been apprehended well elementary symptoms of a face system faces is when a government begins to lose its legitimacy to the control of violence to armed terrorists or groups nigeria is a case study where well, sooner or later north will be declared land for no learning say no to school unless they find solutions to their problem they will still continue shutting down make i leave this place jerry north is peaceful these are lies trying to tarnish the image of Buhari and his government, but it will not work. I repeat, not is peaceful. Okay, this is just being sarcastic. Sad enough, with the escalation, escalation of this ugly trend in northern Nigeria, Boko Haram, Western education is abomination, has usually achieved a singular objective of dissuading people from going to school. Not all the schools in Kaduna State are closed, but zone is zoned due to the incessant kidnapping of school children and teachers in the state truth is is the government has failed 
us from the federal to local government level. The average Nigerian can no longer can no more get a better education in Nigeria because of some greedy and wicked few people who have vowed to make life hard for them. But God will not let us down. The funny thing is, they won't call out Buhari. It is forbidden. They will be silent and just endure. They would have accused good Lord Jonathan or OBJ of genocide. What a country. <laughs> that is their main target to force the government to close all schools. So if that is happening, do you, don't you think this is the same way people are discouraging them from paying ransom? So if those schools are closed, does it mean they will not be able to go to other schools? Or one day they will come with another, what is it called, another demand. You have to be meeting up the demand before they will tell you that uh, the president should step down. Somebody else go, hey, hey, oh my goodness. Well, Buhari's administration is the best. Security-wise, education and one dollar to equal to one naira. They are enjoying the weak personality they voted in as a president. They have profi- uh, profited enough. Let them think of next strategy, strategic ways. Nigeria is a joke. Nigeria government can no longer protect school peoples they are shutting down schools this is shameful it don't tire you don't say where well, we know this school good day we close one day okay and the terrorists triumph sad story to the field of the failed nigeria states hmm. <laughs> yes so the terrorist triumph okay well you needed a president from the north and here you have it yet the problem persists the problem was not even was not as a <laughs> it, it was not even as escalated as what we are seeing now. Oh huh, my goodness. <laughs> so the what is it called now? The so called they are they are happy. The Boko Haram, they are happy now that yes, what they are bargaining for what they want is already happening. So what are the things that the government is putting in place to curb these things? When the response of the government is to close schools, I begin to wonder how different the agenda of Boko Haram, which has been branded as terrorist, is. Education is gradually dying off in the north. This one may reach two years. <laughs> this was the governor that told Jonathan to resign over the artificial insecurity in the north. He can't even manage his own state. I will make Jonathan government ungovernable. Where is Gumi's the negotiator? Please, can someone take picture with the terrorists and send? <laughs> this is serious. Oh.